So hey, how y'all doing? Uh, my name is Mike No. I'm the president and founder of Iron Wind Metals, and uh, this is my office or my toy box, as my wife calls it. And uh, I've been in 40 years in the game industry. I collect a lot of stuff, and I spend more awake time here than I do at home. So I like to surround myself with eye candy. And most of the stuff in here has a story of one kind or another, some of which can't be told, but a lot of which can. And I've been asked to tell some stories about a few things in here. So, first of all is my little brief glimpses of fame in the industry. Uh, this is a White Wolf book, The Sabbath, came out in very early 90s. And at the time, I would go to conventions and hang around with uh, the founder of White Wolf, and we do parties and stuff. And so we knew him pretty well. And one of our art people did a side job working for them. So he would take pictures of Ralph Partha employees and use them in White Wolf books. So uh, we had some glimpses of fame. Like uh, this is Brady, one of our mold makers, looking fierce. This would be Brady again, killing Garney, two of our mold makers. This picture was actually taken in a, the driveway of my house. This would be uh, Joe who worked at the shop and Renee, his wife. And my little claim to fame in this particular book this is Brady again, but that's myself on my, at the time, almost new motorcycle. And uh, it, this was taken in the parking lot of Ralph Partha around 1990-91. Still have the bike. Uh, the shotgun in my hand is actually a toy. Uh, as you can see, either I'm a really big guy or it's a really tiny gun. <laughs> and uh, I still have the bike. And actually still have the jacket. It's just a little bit more beat up now, like all of us are. Uh, I was also a card in the vampire card game. And probably the coolest one, when they did the, uh, the first Mind's Eye Theater werewolf LARP book, The Apocalypse, the uh, Guy liked my snarl when I was angry, so he took some pictures and told me to think about sculptors being late with turn-ins and got a snarl and morphed me into a werewolf. Which was cool in a couple ways because uh, I could convince nieces and nephews that I actually was a werewolf and I had photographic proof. And I was walking down the sidewalk at a very early Dragon Con and somebody on the other side of the street yelled out over the busy street, werewolf! But, you know, then of course, you get canceled. So these days I look for myself in bargain bins at conventions. Uh, I've also been sculpted a couple of times. Uh, when uh, the sculptor Dave Summers went to one of our medieval parties, he got inspired and this Ralph Partha piece was originally sculpted as me standing on the head of one of the Ralph Partha owners. Uh, he then altered it to, into an ogre of some kind so that the figure could be produced. And this is actually a Reaper Miniatures figure. It's uh, in the Chronoscope line, I believe. It's called Mike No Biker Boss. Uh, I didn't know about this before it came out, and I got an email from somebody saying, hey, you know, Reaper just did you as a mini. So the story behind this is when the sculptor, Tim Prow, first came over here from the UK, he stayed with my wife and I on our property for a few months in the summer, and I took him shooting for the first time. So uh, years later, he remembered my leather long coat. He remembered my pump shotgun with the pistol grip front and rear. And he even got the Thor hammer that I've worn every day for 35 years. 
actually worn it so much the leather thong completely wore out the top of the brass and I had to have it redone. And as you can see, it's way worn again. And this is the same figure, which is a funny story. Uh, we saw this figure, we were at Gen Con because we had prizes for Unwin Metals painting contest figures. We saw this figure sitting in the, Re the area for the Reaper prizes. And so we left a prize for it. And when the, the woman who painted it, Lynn Stahl, who now runs Metalhead Minis, she asked why Ralph Partha gave a prize for a Reaper miniature and was told, well, that's because you just painted the president of the company. And I ran into her that night. We hung out for a while. And the next day she came and actually presented me with the lovely painted mini. So that, among a few other things, is uh, my miniature immortality, I guess you'd say.